His question is, uh, uh, in this verse of the Holy Quran, Allah says that first of all He created this uh, earth or this um, our globe. But um, in the light of other verses, you mean, yeah. or in the light of uh, in the light of other verses, uh, it is said that uh, first of all Allah created the heavens. That's what He says. I don't know. So this, you see, this question is. He fails to understand this point that uh, the word Saba is a repeatable word and there is no end to the word Saba like uh, a week continues forever week after week after week and ever since human civilization the weeks are all exactly the same so a thing is repeated so Saba Samawat are not just seven. They are seven after seven after seven after seven. But in this particular verse, the Holy Quran refers to the Saba Samawat closer to the earth. According to the scientists, Saba Samawat, that is seven heavens, which envelop the world, are exactly seven, the scientists have discovered, and they provide a cover for uh, radiation from the heaven to reach us. If the protection was not bad, life on earth would not have been possible. So here the Sabha Samavat of, of the earth, it does not mean that they were created first. It only means that Sabha Samavat or uh, Samav Dunya, who are protecting us from heavenly radiations to reach it. If it had reached, it would have destroyed the animal life. Allah has said. Can you read the verse again? I may have referred to another verse instead. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَكَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ فَسَوَّاهُنَّ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتِ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٍ That's right. Yes, sir. That's, right. That's correct. Here particularly the Sabah Samawat of this earth are mentioned which I have already explained. Assalamu alaikum.